Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Man, and today I wanted to talk to you about cyanobacteria. You might have some cyanobacteria in your tank. It usually is a reddish kind of slime that grows on sand or possibly on rocks or um, maybe your pumps, things like that. In areas where there is maybe not so much flow, although it can grow in high flow places as well. And you might have wondered how to get rid of it because you siphon it out of your tank and over the next couple days it just grows right back. So cyanobacteria is actually a really interesting organism. A lot of people consider it an algae but it's actually bacteria, hence the name cyanobacteria. Uh, it is one of the original forms of life on earth and actually has some really interesting properties that distinguish it from other things that are around us every day. Cyanobacteria is the only cellular organism, uh, the only organism that does not have a cell nucleus, but can still make oxygen on its own. It doesn't have chloroplast the way a plant does, but it can photosynthesize like a plant. And in fact, we believe that way back at the beginning of time, uh, cell, uh, plant cells actually engulfed some cyanobacteria and over time that cyanobacteria that now lives inside the what would become a plant cell uh, became a chloroplast. So the cyanobacteria that you have in your tank is actually a really interesting uh, thing just to read about on its own. It, it can photosynthesize like a plant, but it's not a plant. Uh, it acts a lot like a chloroplast, but it doesn't have chloroplasts itself. Um, so it's really an interesting organism. But in your tank, cyanobacteria is a sign of unbalanced nutrients. More so than any other thing, if you add extra nutrients, you start feeding a lot more suddenly, you start uh, dosing nitrate like I did, um, anything that unbalances your system is probably going to lead to at least a little bit of a cyanobacteria outbreak. In and of itself, cyanobacteria doesn't really seem to bother most things. It can cover some kinds of coral like zoanthids, uh, things like that, but it doesn't seem to bother my Acropora, doesn't seem to bother my Blastomusa um, or anything like that. So coral does seem to be able to defend itself against getting smothered by cyanobacteria up to, to an extent. What you can do is blow it off of rocks, blow it off of coral with a turkey baster or a power head. Just get it into the water column, suck out as much as you can, clean it up, and then try to reduce available nutrients in your system. Uh, for example, for mine, I was starting to dose nitrates to raise my nitrates in my tank. My coral looks great. It's beautiful and nice and colorful right now. Um, but because of that sudden extra nitrates in my tank, I have this outbreak of cyanobacteria. So I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm just going to maybe reduce my nitrates that I had ever so slightly. I'm trying to go for about 0.03 um, parts per million nitrates, and that has done wonders for the, the color of my coral, but it's also done wonders for my cyanobacteria. So I think as my tank stabilizes at that level, the cyanobacteria will just automatically be outcompeted by the coral, outcompeted by uh, algae and things like that that are growing, that are using the nitrates, and it'll just kind of go away on its own. That said, you can increase flow, but I have some cyanobacteria that's actually growing on a Vortec, so um, you know that doesn't get any higher flow than that. So that's not gonna be a cure-all for you. Well, lots of water changes are definitely going to be a great thing for cyanobacteria because you're exporting those extra nutrients. There are also chemicals that you can add. I, I don't recommend them, but I guess if you really wanted to, you could use them. I think it's called Chemipure or Chemiclean. And what it is is really just an antibacterial drug that you can put in your tank. And as an antibacterial is uh, you know expected to do, it'll kill a bacteria. Cyanobacteria is a bacteria. and then your cyano will go away. I've heard if you do use that, be careful, your skimmer will go crazy. And it'll also drop the available oxygen in your water because of all that extra gunk in the water. So um, though your skimmer will be going crazy, don't turn it off, keep your skimmer going if you're using those kinds of things because it's important to keep oxygen in your tank water and so your fish and things don't suffocate. Um, 
So yeah, cyanobacteria. It's a really interesting creature. It's uh, you know can make oxygen just like a plant, but it's not a plant. It uh, used to be uh, uh, growing on its own and then got engulfed into other cells and became what we know as chloroplasts today. Um, really interesting creature. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting rid of it in my tank, but hopefully you don't have that problem in yours. See you next week. Bye.